Hey, Justin Skinner here, and today I'm gonna show you how to unlock and change your TBS Unified Nano's channel if you're not gonna solder on the button or if you're not gonna do it through Smart Audio. Uh, I'm, I'm making this video because I couldn't find any information out there to help me. Uh, mine came locked and I couldn't get it unlocked without the button. Um, and I'm not going to even attempt to solder the button onto this small ass electronic because I will just I will burn something out it's up to you if you want to try that but if not here's a method you can go about changing your channels and unlocking it so if your VTX comes locked um, here let me plug it in I think I already unlocked mine <clears throat> I mean I know I did but let's hope it stayed unlocked all right it's gonna blink through its cycle right there um, right there that's banned so I got it on race band it's five blinks and then I have it on the 50 milliwatt, so two blinks right there. And then hopefully, okay, there we go. We got both lights on in this video, and that's good. That means it's unlocked. But before this, I only had, you couldn't see the blue light before this. It was just the orange light right there, or red light or whatever. And that indicated that the VTX was locked, and which was causing me issues with using Smart Audio, I think. And so I had to get it unlocked. Now, I couldn't find any information out there on how to do it, so I fiddled around and I'm gonna pass that information on to you. So on, as you see, I have this wire soldered onto this side pad, which I believe is just the ground on the side. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I couldn't find any information. Um, so through experimentation, this worked. I soldered it on. You don't have to solder anything on. You can just hold it to that pad right there. And then to get the uh, channels to change or the to unlock it, it's this bottom middle, so closest to the UFL, the side is, I'm considering the bottom in this video. And then, so it's that bottom middle pad. So, now, why did that just work? Ha, neat. So I'm connected actually through this, is connecting to my exacto knife which is carrying the current and so that's working but there we go we got it locked again or not locked but it's changed but what you're doing what i just did accidentally was i'm connecting that pad to the bottom middle one and that causes the chain reaction of changing the channel so to unlock it and it's just the same thing as you do on your usual Unify. You just hold it for three seconds and it goes to the next stage. One, two, three, and then we're on the power setting. And it's one, two, that's 50 and I'm happy with that. One, two, three. Uh-oh, one, two, three. I changed it again. One, two, three. All right, there we go. One, two, three. Cool. So what happens uh, to unlock it? I'm gonna unpower this right now. So. To unlock it, all you're gonna have to do is connect that pad on the side. Let me get the pointer out again. Connecting this pad on the side to that middle bottom pad, that middle bottom pad, and you hold it there and power it on at the same time. Uh, and then you hold it for about five seconds and it'll go from just an orange light to an orange and a blue light and then you have it unlocked. So I hope that helps anybody out there trying to figure out how to do this themselves. Uh, I couldn't find any videos, so I decided to make a quick one just to give you a little help in hand. Um, and after you're done there, hopefully Smart Audio will work for you or uh, you can just continue to do it like that. It's up to you. I'm gonna desolder this and uh, this white wire and go about life and enjoy it. I did test this out already flying uh, 50, 25, Worked out great in an open field. 50 worked out a little bit better if you have trees. Um, I, I really do only recommend this probably for racing, specifically uh, in fields. Because, uh, you know, 25 milliwatts is really not enough to go, not even around my house. I couldn't even go on the other side of my house. It was just it, the, the concrete, the uh, bricks and everything. The video just fuzzed out, even with my clear view. So um, definitely this is only recommended for, you know, micro builds and uh, racing builds. All right. Have a good day. Happy flying. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer.